Hi, my name is Chris Gitzelman. I'm a pediatric surgeon at the Golizanos Children's Hospital at Strong in Rochester, New York. I would like to uh, show you the pediatric appendicitis scoring and how to use it. This is a tool that we have developed which should help providers in the emergency department uh, accurately um, diagnose appendicitis and rule out the more common causes for abdominal pain. Uh, here you see the uh, team, multidisciplinary, which worked on this uh, project. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. Blickman, who's the radiologist, Colleen Davis, who is the uh, emergency department uh, chief, Dr. Banke, who's the adult trauma uh, chief, Corey Wolcott, who is our uh, NISQIP and data expert, and Anna McGuire, who is a medical student who worked on this project with us. Uh, the scoring uh, project is part of a pathway uh, for uh, children between 2 and 17 years of age with abdominal pain <coughs> and suspected appendicitis. Uh, we implemented this in April 2016. Uh, we uh, performed a retrospective feasibility study to make sure that the uh, uh, scoring was accurate. We then uh, had the emergency department uh, pilot the pathway, beginning with scoring patients presenting with abdominal pain and appendicitis uh, suspected. ED and surgery providers used the appendicitis scoring tool to score patients. This provided education and practice using the appendicitis scoring as well as establishing inter-rater reliability. Uh, ED and surgery uh, providers were then uh, sent the uh, appendicitis pathway as well as a scoring tool. The ED providers were encouraged to utilize the appendicitis scoring tool uh, and rule out appendicitis uh, patients. ED providers uh, should obtain surgery consult if patients met consult criteria based on the scoring. This is the uh, pathway which was developed. As you can see, it's uh, fairly complicated on this slide, but we've broken it down into two separate uh, diagrams. Basically, on the left side, for patients between 2 and 17 years of age, you can see the flow sheet with begin, which begins with a typical clinical uh, and history and progresses uh, through different phases of the scoring, a clinical scoring and an ultrasound scoring, which at the end of the pathway leads to a grouping of patients which uh, determines their likelihood of having appendicitis. This is the first part of the uh, same flow sheet that you saw before. Uh, as you can see, uh, history and physical, um, uh, CBC, and uh, leading up to the PAS, which is the Pediatric Appendicitis Score, which is well developed, which has a scoring of 0 to 10. Uh, following that, if appendicitis is likely on exam, it would follow up with an ultrasound of the uh, right lower quadrant, uh, searching for the appendix. Uh, and in uh, females over 11-year-olds, we also uh, require both ovaries to be visualized. On the uh, right side, uh, you could just see the uh, scoring criteria for the PAS score. This is the lower half of the pathway, which shows you the ultrasound uh, scoring on the left side. The pathway continues after scoring the ultrasound. That is added to the PAS score, giving a total score which then in the lower part you can see that we have divided up based on the retrospective study of the likelihood of having appendicitis. <clears throat> Patients who have a score less than seven uh, as a total are uh, unlikely to have appendicitis. Patients who have a score between seven and 12 are very likely to have acute appendicitis. And what we also found is that patients with a score of 13 to 20 are likely to have perforated appendicitis. Uh, on the right side in the box, you can see this uh, ultrasound scoring, which uh, is uh, separated in uh, a standardized fashion where the ultrasound technologist goes through all the steps that are required for the ultrasound scoring and documents them, uh, as you can see, with the appendix size, 
compressibility, appendicolith uh, present or not, uh, inflammatory changes, fluid present locally, hyperemia around the appendix, lymph nodes, and or abnormal uh, bowel loops observed. This uh, gives us the uh, portion of the ultrasound scoring which is added to the clinical scoring. This is the actual sheet that the radiologists uh, and uh, the providers uh, use. On the first portion you see the PAS score which can be filled in in the blanks and based on the uh, ultrasound reading uh, which is standardized and, and uh, these uh, get filled in in the lower portion of the form. This is the uh, uh, template for the uh, ultrasound technologist and the radiologist uh, where they describe their findings as uh, noted before, um, which uh, gives us the ultrasound scoring uh, total. So a, a sample ultrasound read uh, would be appendix identified, appendix uh, 50 millimeters in diameter, appendicolith visualized, inflammatory changes uh, not visualized, uh, there is uh, free fluid visualized, there are no mesenteric lymph nodes, and um, normal uh, bowel loops uh, seen. The impression is consistent with non-perforated appendicitis with uh, appendicolith. So what would the uh, ultrasound score be for this patient? Let's look at the next slide. Uh, the, the score would be four, uh, based on the appendix being over eight millimeters. Uh, an appendicolith is present, fluid is present, which as a total gives us four. So that would be added to the uh, clinical score, which would give us uh, a total score of over seven. Uh, the pediatric appendicitis score used at Golisano Children's Hospital is based on the Alvarado scoring system, which is, has been used for uh, a considerable time and shown to be uh, effective, and the ultrasound uh, scoring system uh, was developed at Golisano Children's Hospital in Rochester, New York. So I'd like to go through a couple of patient scenarios uh, where we can go through the uh, clinical ultrasound findings and come up with a score. So the first uh, patient is an eight-year-old male who presents to the emergency department with a two-day history of abdominal pain that started in the left upper quadrant and has since migrated to the right lower quadrant. He endorses nausea, anorexia, and three episodes of emesis over the last three days. The white count is 14, neutrophils are 80%. On exam, right lower quadrant pain is noted. He denies fever and chills. The ultrasound results show a 10 millimeter non-compressible appendix with appendicolith, free fluid, and lymph nodes noted. Based on the scenario, you determine that the appendicitis score in this patient is 14. This is the breakdown of the uh, clinical scoring and the standardized ultrasound scoring. Uh, where you can see that the uh, right lower quadrant tenderness gives the patient on the clinical scoring gives the patient a score of two, anorexia a score of one, nausea, vomiting, leukocytosis, left shift, and migration of pain all uh, give a, a, a single digit. And in the ultrasound, the appendix size over eight millimeters is a score of two, non-compressibility also weighted as a two, Appendicolith 1 and fluid present 1, lymph nodes 1. So that's a total of 7 on the clinical and 7 on the appendicitis score, which gives us a total of the 14. Uh, the next example, a 14-year-old female presents to the emergency department with sudden onset of right lower quadrant pain. Uh, she denies vomiting and anorexia. The emergency department uh, temperature is 38.2. The patient states that uh, bumps in the car on the way to the emergency department were painful. Guarding is noted on ex abdominal exam. The white count is 11 with 65% neutrophils. 
An ultrasound is obtained and appendix is not visualized. However, free fluid and lymph nodes are noted. Uh, if you answered seven, you were correct. Based on the findings, we have right lower quarter pain, which is a uh, two on the clinical score, low-grade fever, one, nausea, vomiting, one, leukocytosis, one, which gives us a total of five. Now, on the ultrasound uh, scoring system, they did not see the appendix. However, they did see free fluid present uh, locally in the right lower quadrant, and they did see lymph nodes. So that adds a total of two, which brings the score up to seven, which uh, makes this uh, likely appendicitis. Patient scenario three is an eight-year-old female who presents with headache, nausea, and abdominal pain. On exam, the patient is mildly tender to deep palpation in the periumbilical region and lower abdomen with rebound tenderness. The maximum temperature was 36.9. The patient complains of nausea and anorexia. The white count was uh, 20.4, and neutrophils were 61%. The ultrasound read uh, is as follows. Appendix not clearly visualized, and there's no evidence of free fluid. So based on that scenario, the appendicitis score uh, totaled is three. As you can see here again from the scoring tool, anorexia on the clinical score uh, gives one, nausea vomiting one, leukocytosis one, which is a total of three. And the ultrasound findings uh, uh, are a total of zero, which maintains the score at a three, which is uh, less than required uh, to be uh, suspected of acute appendicitis. Those are the, the examples I wanted to go through. As you can see, we've tried to standardize the uh, scoring system with the PAS score and our newly developed ultrasound scoring tool to help providers in the emergency department to deal with uh, abdominal pain and uh, be able to rule out appendicitis or confirm appendicitis. We've also uh, submitted uh, these, these uh, studies and findings uh, in a publication uh, utilizing prospective data obtained fr uh, from the use and the scoring tool at Golisano Children's Hospital. I've included the uh, references that we have uh, found uh, significant in the creation of this uh, publication. Um, 